We are in Shar Aluf Parak Zion. And to remind you, we, um, the last thing that we learned was the Medrash that, um, that the Medrash Achayim brought. Shmash Rabba Parshimem Aluf, Yashem Yitain Chachma Bipiv Das Utsuna. There's a difference between Hashem Yitain Chachma, Yitain Chachma, but Mipiv. And he brought a, uh, the Medrash brings a mushal. Father takes to his little son sitting on his lap. He takes a piece of food from the plate, the serving plate, and gives it to the Namayn Kim Amrilai. And the child says, I only want it straight out of your mouth. Now, so the uh, the medrash is explaining the pasuk. So, um, to to synopsize and summarize what well, what we said is that, uh, and we learned uh, together a the hakdama of Chaim to the uh, Safrigitz Niusa with the Pirush Hagro, if you recall. So uh, that's what we learned together. The chilik between. So Hashem Yitain Chachma, just to put it in my words, Hashem Yitain Chachma refers to the Chetza, if you will, of Chachma that Hashem puts in front of us. He handed us down the Torah on a silver platter, and here you have the Chachma. Take, right? Take my, take my Chachma. Now, um, understanding that, so, so we have Torah, beautiful, you have Torah. And the truth is, anybody can get this Torah. So it's accessible to everybody. Um, but then there's another uh, um, madrega here, and that's the madrega of understanding it, and not just understanding it because you have a high IQ and you're able to understand things, but there's the, um, as I put it, there's the people that get it. There's the, the, the peeve da sutuna is to understand it and to have that extra little piece that some people have, um, now the Gemara says a lashon leukme milsa siata deshmaya, leukme milsa siata deshmaya, which Rashi says means remembering it. But Taisu says the Gemara Megillah. But Taisu says leukme milsa siata deshmaya. Let me remind you the Gemara. You got to matzasa, taimen. You got to v'loy matzasa al taimen. Leukme milsa siata deshmaya. So Rashi says, but to remember what you found, that's already siata deshmaya, which is very very true. Uh, but there's another thing also leukme milsa, leukme milsa is to be able to get it, to be able to, to, to get a, um, you know, two people are looking at the same material in the same Dvar Chachma, and one is understanding it in a whole different way um, than the other. And it's not just intellect, there's something more. So what, what the Nefesh Chaim calls this is the Nitzaitzais of the Neshama. It's not the Neshama, in other words, in the Kodesh Baruch in the Torah, right? So Yisrael, Ve'araisa, of the Chad, Chad. And then there's um, there's the Nitzitzis of the Neshama, which give us that extra piece. We'll be spotted by your dome. And, and um, for instance, uh, if you don't have this Neshama, um, Goyim will never understand it in the same way. They could be Mephalpula, like a professor, but they won't understand it in the same way. There's a certain Siyat to Dishmayim. So we should be Zochet to that so that we can understand that better. But that, that there, there's such a thing as, as understanding something Deeper. I mean, the bashal I gave Lukme Milsa Siata Dishmaya is that sometimes you're um, thinking about something, you're trying to understand, you're trying to understand, a, you know, an Indian of, of Tyra, um, and and then all of a sudden, like boom, it pops into your head, but it's got nothing to do with what you were thinking about. <laughs> so so you, you, you can say that that what you were thinking about was, you know, like like uh, preparing the ground for the Nitzitzis and the Neshama to come in. Now when it comes in, it comes in like a, like a blitz. I think probably everybody's had this experience. Whoa, cha, cha. So what's a cha? Where does that cha come from? So that's, that comes from the Nitzitzis and Neshama. It might be true, um, uh, you know, that might happen also in the world of science and the world of, uh, of uh, math. Honestly, I never tried. <laughs> never sat and tried music. to. Music. Yeah. music, probably also. That also has to do with the Neshama. All of a sudden there's a... <clears throat> There's, there's a I'm, I'm also thinking, I don't know if it's, this is the same or not, but I'm just, I'm just trying to wrap my mind around it. But the Nitzitzah HaNeshama, 
that um, this is something I feel very uh, um, deeply and strongly that, that over over the years, a lot of years already, um, let's say uh, 40 years. So um, for many of those years, as I say, can cure Baruch Hashem, like uh, a lot of Bali Chuba. Ah, maybe, I don't want to exaggerate, maybe a couple hundred Bali Chuba. That's mm -hmm. like an exaggeration. People talk about thousands, I don't have thousands, but they, maybe, maybe a couple hundred Bali Chuba. To be perfectly honest about it, I don't think that um, personally um, I was ever actually made anybody into a Bal Chuba. I don't think that it's actually, uh, it's, it's, I don't think it's a real uh, thing. What happens is that Me'eza Sivas of Shatiya, somebody comes along and is looking for some kind of chachma, looking for some kind of chachma, maybe to inspire somebody sometimes, but ultimately a person's making themselves into a Bal Chuba grows, and you're there to facilitate, that's all. It's, it's not, um, you know, you know, you have the cure, you know, in, in the sort of more like, uh, you know, Wolfson world, you know, that's, you know, I was Makar of him, no, I was Makar of him, I don't know anybody's Makar of anybody, you know, like, um, it's, who knows if it's maybe Chosavos, you know, that a person tends to be in the same elevator with you or the, or, 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 or whatever, and then, and then, you know, you, you, you're there, but the fact is people go on their own, if anything, the job was always to, like, chill, you know, <laughs> take it easy, you know, like, don't, uh, don't, go, don't go overboard, you know, you don't have to go so fast, you know, that was a, the job, like, trying to make people not from, you know, it was mostly, mostly the job, but it's the same thing, like, like, where does it actually um, come from, the Cesaris for Chuva, where, where does it actually come from? And I think it comes from the neshama. I think it's that's that's the neshama. But it's not at musa yisparach nevushaim as much. It's the neshama. By the way, you don't have to be loud for him to have this. If you're from kavul chaber, you know, all of a sudden you can have a hisayrus and, and and realize that that that's the the Balatalia calls says says about this that that kind of hisayrusa de la eila, uh, which comes to every person who has a neshama. So he's of course learning different from the neshama. The same idea. Um, so uh, that has to be concretized very, very quickly. Otherwise, it'll leave us as, as fast as it came. So maybe that's the job, the facilitator of those nitzaitzis on the shava. But but the nitzaitzis are the nitzaitzis. There's like this this um, mitzias in, in the world, and that also has to do with havana satira, and it has to do with the sayuris of chupa, and it has to do with um, really everything uh, spiritual. You know, sometimes you're davening, and then you know, like. Something something comes to mind, you know. Sometimes you're working with your children, something comes up like kachaza. You know, you say music, which is the only place where I hear that such a phenomenon exists, because obviously music is, uh, you, you know, the um, you know the uh, some cipher says that the, the shot in sheer the lashon of sheer is shiare ha neshama. <coughs> it's the spillover of the neshama. Which is why you don't want to hear music from uh, Mushchas, because who wants to get the spillover of his Nisham <laughs> into my brain? But but you know, music is is. Um, I just learned this morning at Davening the Rambam and Shmuel Nebrakim are talking about music during the Sfirah. That that uh, music says the Rambam. If, if a person has Barish Chayra, so somehow or not, you should listen to music, says the Rambam, because somehow the music uh, does something with your Nishama and it gives it a Menucha. Gives it a manuka. There's some kind of a kasher there. So yeah. So it, and it might be true in the sciences, and it might be true in the maths, it might be true in other things also. I don't know, but but I just don't know. I don't have that experience. It's not what a bicycle. But uh, it's 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 certainly true in Tyra. Uh, it's certainly true in Tyra. No classical music was on the Shostri. It's a Hispanic. Yeah. I don't know if it's Hispanic. Any other Shostri? Yeah, but they're, they're not uh, songs about hashchas. Have to do with words or with words? Or about Christianity? It's a sugya. It's a sugya. Uh, uh, classical music is a sugya. But after after my share this morning, so uh, Rabbi Hoshander told me that it was the Davar Yadua that uh, Rabbi Yaakov Weinberg, Shiva Leir Yisrael, to prepare his sheer quality with classical music blasting in the background. It was the only way he could, that's the only way he could do it. That's the, uh, I, don't, I don't have that experience to get to that, I guess. But, uh, it's, uh, I know that's not so intellectual, I guess. But uh, it's, it's um, you know, that's, that, that, that's a sugya. The 
some of the casitas they took on some of their yeah yeah music but um okay so me peeve that's that so Hashem yiteng chachma it's out there over me peeve is das the das the tfuna those things um so those are things that are, they're like a chap, like a blitz that can come to a person, and that's me pee. So the son says that I don't want what's on the plate. That's not good enough for me. I, I want the, <laughs> I, wa I want me pee. Um, and here, let's just begin the Haggad, new today. Parak the Haggah, the note of Rapaim Lajan. <coughs> the Alpizet, again, the aside is <coughs> that all of this is based on the fact that we don't have the Neshama Gufa inside of us, we just have the Nitzaytzi Neshama, and what its ramifications might be. The Alpizet, Yaskil Hamaayen, Lahavin, Alpi Pashut, Inyan Hanisker, Bezoyar. We have now a simple Derech. To understand that which is written in the Sayar, Parashas, Achrei, this week's Parsha, right? Ayin Gimel Amid Aleph, the Kucha Brichu, Vay Raisa, the Israel, Miskashin, Da Vida. So we all know the Nigid, Yi Yisrael, well, the Araisa, right? The Kucha Brichu Chadhu. That's not what the Lashon of the Sayar is in this Parsha. Is his kuchabrichu by Raisa at the Torah of the Yisrael biskashrid da bida. It's a little bit different than say chadu biskashrid da bida. They're all intertwined. Vadai oibe kavanase l'soyda sabuki. It's hard to understand the zayar. It's a ligand, so we don't find it so hard. But it's it's a uh, it's it's really a hard thing to understand. What does that mean, Yisrael? Let's leave even the Torah out for a second. Yisrael ve'araisa ve'kutshabrichu chadhu, or b'skashr da'vada. So chadhu sounds more like the Balatanya. B'skashr da'vada, because we're connected. So it sounds a little bit more like the Nefeshatai. Am I right about that? So, but that's what I looked up the Zayar. That's what it says. B'skashr da'vada. Kol z'yesh l'has b'ridi gab b'pashtus. We could explain this simply. Not so simple, but he's going to explain it simply. But Indian, here's the simple shot. Kikutsha brichu, everybody has it here? Kikutsha brichu, sasin begalia. The Zayar in Parshas Amar, that Akadosh Baruch Hu is sasin begalia. Um, let me tell you the context there. The context of that Zohar is that you have the same Hashem Yud Kei Vav Kei. And you know, Jews being strange as they are, they see Yud Kei Vav Kei and they read it Adonai. So it's like Ksiv and Akri. It's the ultimate Ksiv Akri. You know, Loi Kavoy Shadi Dichtav Ali Mikra. Kibar says of this, that the way it's said, the way it's written, is not the way it's pronounced. Not even close. Yud Kei Vav Kei and Adonai. So the, um, the and this is the the, the Din and, and the Anhagabal of Bal Yisrael. And that's called Sasim, the, the Zayar calls that, that the Shem Hashem is Sasim Vigalia. That it's Sasim, Yudke Vavke means it's Sasim, that's what's hidden. And Galia, what's revealed, is the Adnai Aleph Dalad Nun Yud. So, what's the Pshitus Hadvarim? That I say it, but what I'm saying it is just one little aspect of what it really is. I'm not touching the essence of it. The essence of it is your K Vav K. But the, the, the way that it's articulated in this world is Aleph Dalad Nun Yud. Interesting thing. Ahoy Gashem Bois Yais of the Gabar says Eilach Eilach Oilam Hava. The Gabar says in Sanhedrin that if you, if you pronounce Yud K Vav K, Eilach Eilach Oilam Hava. Not allowed to pronounce Yud K Vav K. Uh, not because necessarily that it's the shame Hamafarish, because we have no kasher with that. It's a, it's, it's a world that we have no kasher with. Yud Kei Vav Kei. So pronouncing it is bringing you something into this world which is really not of this world. Adonai, that's of this world. He's our master. 
You okay, both okay? Yeah. What does that even mean? Oh yeah, hi, baby. Yeah, okay, we have things, but what does it really mean? We don't even know what it means, right? Elohim, we know what it means. We could say that. You came up, okay? What are you saying? Something. So the chat, the chat in not saying the Sheba of Farish Bukhal, the Rabbah says, by the way, that is the Sheba of Farish, but the chat in not saying the Sheba of Farish Bukhal is because what, you, what we say brings something into this world, and when you bring it into this world, what does a vlog in this world? So there's a manifestation. Manifestation is Adonai. That's what the Zayar calls. You can memorize this, Kuchabrihu Sassim Begalia. Kohen Gadol. Kohen Gadol, the base of English. Maybe a Machlekes, the Rambam, because he holds the shape of Persia is different. The Pashat of Shad is that the Kohen Gadol on Yom Kippur would say the shape of Kisha Hayyay Yoytse, maybe. Right? Shame Hakodesh. That, that was the that was the time that it was that it was said. It was Kriya Hishtachava, because it was otherworldly at that moment. <laughs> but you know, like um, <coughs> I think every Yom Kippur that we you know we we describe that you know right? um, when, when we describe it, we say that the Kli Gadol that the, the whole Kli Yisrael was the follow that it should be Lichlas Veshalom Yotze Veshalom. He should go in with Shalom and come out with Shalom. So the Pajam Shah is like he should uh, drop that in the middle of the of, of the Avoda, but it's it's um, he, he's entering into like a different world, and he should be Yotze B'Shalom. He should he should be Yotze Shalom. This is by by thought that, that Shalom is the most down to earth name of Hashem. Shalom Aleichem. Not when we see in the parties, right? Yeah. So yeah, one second. So lichlas b'shalom v'yotze b'shalom is that you're entering the kohen gadol as our shaliach is entering a different world, levan klal yisrael, which is allowed to do only in parshas achir voice. That's why it's here, um, only in parshas achir voice, only on yom kippur, and, and and we could enter a little bit into that world on yom kippur also. And, he, and we're mispalo. It should be lichlas b'shalom v'yotze b'shalom meaning he should come back into this world. The idea is to come back into this world where we have some Havana. Don't stay there. Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't need more Malachim. If you want more Malachim, he would have made us Malachim, you know, to stay there. You know, like, hang out and I like it in here, in the Kodesh Kedosh. Don't stay in the Kodesh Kedosh. The idea is to be Nichlas Vishalom, the Yotze Vishalom, and then come back down to earth. You know, like, it's like the, he's heading a spaceship up to the, who knows where, and like, it doesn't come back. So what's what's the... What's the point? Hmm? <coughs> That's right. The Rashi. The Rashi. So Neil says also we find the same lushan by Arba Nichmas of the Pardes and uh, the, the, the right Ben Zayma Ben Azai. Um, Acher. Acher. Ben Avoy and Rabbi Kiva. So. Um, they all got uh, hurt, you know. But Acher lost his uh, whole religion, and Ben Zayma went crazy, and Ben Azai hits his face. And Rabbi Kiva lichlas v'shalo v'yatsa v'shalo, because Rabbi Kiva, the whole idea of Rabbi Kiva was very, very real, even biographically, was to bring everything down to earth. That's that's what he did. That's what Rabbi Kiva did. The Torah Shabbat had for us. So lichlas v'shalo v'yatsa. He also went into the parish when he came back. Like the idea is to come back, or Ben Azai got stuck there. So it's like it's a, a, a lower madrega. So that's the sasim begalia. Ki atzmos. So Rav Shachai explains ki atzmos adoyin kol eitzay baruchu ele musa. When we're talking about the atzmos, I shall akharish baruchu back to his shita. It's not something we can comprehend. Beleis machshava tzvisa be klal. There's no understanding. So what do we understand about Hakadosh Baruch Hu? Who rak mitzad his chabrusai lahaylamais meish shibra mechidsha. We can understand what we can understand. And we should understand is the his kashros or the his chabrus or the connectivity between the world that we live in and higher. Worlds, it's connected. So the most we can do is not understand Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Nobody understands the Leisvav Shabbat Mitzvah. We can't picture Hakadosh Baruch Hu. We can't do anything like that. What we can understand, we could say, as he's going to say later, Baruch Hei Ha'Elamim. Baruch Hei Ha'Elamim. 
Chayi Hoylamin means he gives chiyus to the Olam. That's what we can understand. It's um, I, it's clear to me, by the way, that the Bolim and, and even Hasidim want to understand more than that. They want they want to they want to they're working towards the Atzmos of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. And the Rukhaim Lagan say, Leis Machshav Tzvisabe. That's a Chazal. What are you going to do with Leis Machshav Tzvisabe? The most you can do in terms of Tzvisa, Tzvisa is his chabrusa lo haylabais ve'eshebra v'chidsha. L'achyoysam, l'kaibam, koregel aligam. The Akadosh Baruch Hu is constantly sustaining and maintaining the world. K'mashi kasu, v'ato mechaye es kulam. Ochein, v'ishtabchu yisbarach v'tzvila seidu shehu chay o'elamin, or chay o'elamin. He called, that's what Chayel Abba means. He called Havana Slipenu Bukhalatilis Vapakoshis. Whenever we are davening, our Kavana is Asr Liais Rak Liachidai Shu Alam Wain Sai Farahu. We're davening only Tashem, of course. Hashem Hashem, right? We're not davening to any kind of uh, world or stars or moon or anything that gets Bukhaya as Kulam, people. Abnab, however, Laibitzarat Smusa is Barak Labad. We can't daven, we can't understand Hashem that we're davening to because he's separate from us. The best we can do is understand that he's chabrus to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. He's sussray b'hem lach yosef. He's sussray b'hem lach yosef. Wow. That's what mitzvahs are all about. It's a pretty big sentence, no? This is what uh, Avoid is all about. This is all we could go, all we could do. So, um, is that a little bit disappointing? <laughs> but the truth is that, you know, uh, you know I've, I've asked this question, I've been walking around with this thing for, for years, that, you know, we're told, and yet, so you're not allowed to even picture our Kaddish Baruch Hu, so why are we dominating with a picture of our Kaddish Baruch Hu in front of us, so to speak, in our mind? Like if you're not allowed to picture our Kaddish Baruch Hu, whatever you're going to think is the picture of our Kaddish Baruch Hu, not only are you out, but you've done an Avera by, by putting some kind of a picture to our Kaddish Baruch Hu. So, um, so how do you daven? So this, he's, he's, his answer is, um, that your 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 the to the what we can understand in terms of tefisa. First of all, you don't. I mean, I'm saying you don't daven necessarily with your brain. You daven with your heart. But uh, so your heart can maybe soar that to that place. But um, what he's saying, as far as understanding goes, it's the hischabrus oilamais. It's the hakadosh baruch Hu's connection. This is where it hooks in to the world. <coughs> Meaning, what are you, you're davening that, the, that there should be peace in the world. So you're davening that HaKadosh Baruch Hu should give back to the Nitzaytzis on the Shabbat HaKloli into this world. There should be Hashpa. If we, if we personally could have Hashpa and become Bali Tshuva, if we personally have Hashpa and understand Aksayish uh, uh, better, so uh, so the world could also have Hashpa and be more peaceful. So that's the Hishabra, so the involved, let's call it the involvement of HaKadosh Baruch Hu in this world. Involvement, that's a good word. Talking about involved, not talking about Hashem. That's involved, and that's where we're that's where we're holding. But this is tricky because you can't dive into anything that he's involved in. Only to he who's involved with this world. So it's not, you got one gets to something for Bracho for Daven. It's because we believe that they are connecting into that stream. That Maybe they're they're um, Sadik Yisoydoilo is part of that connection, it's part of the chain of connection, because it could be that the way Hashem connects into this world is through Tzadikim also. Or could be not. I can say we're trying to have pleasures of the Olamas. So um, that's, that's uh, obviously borrowed from the beginning of the um, of the Arizal, where he talks this is like the first words in the Arizal, that that Ritzonai HaPashut is to build the world. That he should shiyelo itadira b'tachtoinu. So uh, what what does the Arizal mean? He doesn't quote the Arizal that I can see. What what does Ritzonai HaPashit mean over there? That we can't, um, Ritzonai HaPashit, when we talk about our Ritzonai HaPashit, um, it means that it requires no philosophy. Of, you don't have to start darshaning, like, why do I want this? It's, 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 it's natural to, to want something, but that's, that's Ritzonai HaPashit, just natural. Like, why do you want to live, you know? 
What's right? the hell wrong? Your buddy or your life? Let me think about it. Like it's 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 uh it, it's nothing to think about. It's a, it's retzayde apashit. So Hakadosh Baruch Hu's retzayde apashit is that there should be a dear of a tafkai. That's pashit. That's the that's the pshitus of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. That's what that's what he that's what he wants. And the whole phrase is chabruso and then leha'olamos. What the Rambam the Haolamos said. Gertzainai ha pashat le ha oilamais, that that Akarish Barakhu's Pashat Ratsa Pashat Pshat in Akarish Barakhu is that he wants to create I love so his connection to the I love ice. This is these are the hard words by the way, the he's the Hisasrai, the Satrai Bahemla Achyaisa. That he hides himself in it. So that's that's to be more of a interdigma. What is what does that mean? Does he hear or is he not hear? But the, whatever it means, he's Sasrai Bahem La Achyosa. So let me try. For a minute, um, this was maskir to be um, the zayar. Really, is maskir to be the uh, the following problem that um, we make brachas. That's a big part of davening. Is brachas baruch atah Hashem and we take an olam tayvam. Sherkichanu the mitzvahs of whatever tivan. So um, the the problem that that's always asked is that we're changing. Um, we're changing um, in the middle, yes. changing tenses in the middle. So, Baruch Atah Hashem, like Atah, if I say Atah, it means you're standing right in front of me. Noichach, Noichach, Eloikeinu Melech Oilam, Asher Kitshonu B'Mitzvaisa V'Tivonu, who's already third person. That he sanctifies us, that he, so how do we go from you to he? This is a problem that uh, Rishonim speak about in the tense of the bracha. Seems wrong. Baruch Atah Hashem. Hey, Elokeinu Melech Olam, you could still uh, work with, but Shekidashta Oisam, Ato Kidashta, Asher Kitshalu is the hell of it's not it's not Benoichach. Problem. So I just want to show you. Look in your WhatsApp here. Um, so let me put the WhatsApp. There's the um, there's the um, the Chubas Arashba, good place to start. And the Chubas Arashba, the Simon Nun Beis, Halo Hey Simon Nun Beis, Chubas Arashba, Oit Shalta, Lava Niska, Nusa Chabracha, Machse Nimsa, or Machse Nista. Exactly this question. Why is the Nusa of the Bracha half revealed and half hidden? That means at Baruch Ata and Alekhe to Elchaylo. Shuba. Da you should know she is the Balea Hakma Sai Niska. Kabal Kabal Kabalim have deep reasons. Ain Lanu Kane said when the stars was the Chuba Zarashba. We're not doing this not Kabbalah say. However, whenever he says he's not gonna talk Kabbalah only digla, to be it sounds like it's Kabbalah, but this is the show there by Drago. Abna Miesh Tam Nikla Gadul Atayalis from Meshatikna Nusa Khabrahus came. But there is a revealed toelas in the Nusa Chabracha Ratzelaymer Beniglo Beniski. Why? What's the revealed pshat? Pasha of pshat. Lufisha Kariyadata, because as you know, Shnei Yisoydes Yesha Aleim Nivna Akol. There are two Yisoydes that everything is built on. Ha Echad Ladash Yehu Yisbarach Machuyav Hamatzias. First thing you have to know is that Hashem creates everything, and Hashem made everything in this world. But Shane Suffolk was that cloud, when he says he's sorry, means he's quoting the Rambam, by the way. Shane Suffolk was that cloud, Kamashin Isparam, Aspar Sein, Hamoifas, and Love Beer Rav. It's a known thing that a Kurdish bar will create everything. There's nothing in the world that's not created by Hashem. Nothing. Nothing. There's no uh, negative energy. There's no Satan. There's no um, armies. There's nothing that's not created by Hashem. He's the Machuya. If it's Matthias, it was created by Hashem. It's Matthias, it's created by Hashem, period. I call me everybody, very good. Vashemi, She'ena mitasa yisparach muskav, it says on the bottom it's supposed to say muskeles, museges rather. She'ena mitasa yisparach museges ki mas me yisparach levad. That nobody understands Hashem except for he himself. There isn't yet a balach that understands the Kodesh Baruch. Uhubim Tsiusai Nigla Lakol, Uba Mitas Mahusai Disturbanella Meakol. 
So there's a Rashba, this is my connection to the Nefesh HaChayim, so there's two dinner. Uh, the, the din, there's one din <coughs> of knowledge, and this is probably what the Nefesh Chaim means by Yishaprus and Pshutai Ritzayna uh, that it's, it's, it's a Metzius, and if it's a Metzius, we need to know Hashem created it. On the one hand, like Paro said, Mi Hashem. That's a good question, right? Mi Hashem. Like, but the answer is, we don't understand. So it's complicated to, to, to live this, this life. We know everything comes from Hashem. Every, everything. It's It's Eidah Musegah's club. So it says the Rashba, that's the Pshat and the Bracha. Well, uh, how, how do you understand that? Baruch Atah Hashem means what? Hashem is. He's manifest. And he's manifest. And on the key to Melech HaElahu, he's out there. You say Apuch, yeah? What's the Apuch? Baruch Atah Hashem, you can't be masked because you know, the Lord, whatever you call Baruch Atah, he's manifest in the visible world. I agree with you. Baruch Atah Hashem, that's out there. And like Hainu, Melech HaElam. Oh, really? Um, so, look what he says. Okay, Lik Vayashte, Hapinoi Sa'elo, order to get these two corners in, Benafshoi Sainu, Kavu Anusach, Benigla, Benistar. So, Baruch Atah. Kimadabari Mishu Nimsa Mefursam. Not like us. Baruch Ata Kimadabari Mishu Nimsa Mefursam. Ata, I'm sitting right in front of you. Im Shumadabari my Ponim al Ponim. O Kadeshalai Tishabesh Hamach Shava Shu is Baruch Nimsa Kamsiya Shar Nimsayim. The Shachas Bain Mitsuyus and Lumsiyasim. Kavo Asher Kicharli Fireman Afshi say no. Shafa Pisha Mufursim Hus Mitsyus and Nella, Minister. She Afshila Dabar by Rak Minister Baruchu. So Atta, this according to the Rashba's chat means you're right here. And Ella Kedu Mela Hoilam. Not like. That's what the Rashba says. Well, so the Kavano, when you're having a bracha, that's the Kavano according to the Rashba, you're supposed to have Baracha Tashab. And that's as far as we go. We know you're right here and you've created everything in the world, but only king of Allah. The other thing, the Kabbalah say opposite. That's what you're thinking. Uh, you have a Kabbalistic mind, or you heard my thing. <laughs> the the, the Kabbalah learned that what you're really doing is you're traveling through the Oilamites. So you have Asilos, Gria, Yitzira, and Asiya. Baruch Atah, Baruch, you are the Maya. Baruch, Bechari Baruch. Atah is in the world of Atzilus. Hashem, Elokeinu is already the name of Bria, right? Gracious Baruch, Elokeinu, Vesha Shabbai, Vesha Aretz. Habotzi Lech Abin Aretz is right right here in front of us. So the Kabbal have learned to do Kafu, that it starts off in Shabbayim, our bracha, and what we're doing is working ourselves down to earth, which is interesting because it's a machlekes. So he says here in the beginning that the balei achachmas say niska, but he's going to say his pshat, but his pshat is exactly parkeret from what the what the bolim say. So in what sense is ato atzilus? As that's still because it's ato kipshutai. It's not that you. Um, this is what the Kabbalah say. Not that you um, are together with anything. Not that you created something. It's not about what you do. It's not about what you are. Just not talk. You know, just you. So you is a very. Um, it's interesting. Like the Rashi takes is a very intimate thing. If I could say Atta, right? We don't say Baruch Hu. You know, it's very close. You know, in, in, in Yiddish, when you uh, when you're talking to somebody like in your family, you say Do. Which means you're, you're talking to somebody who's uh, posh of a person. You say ear, what's macht ear? So ear is, uh, you know, I think in Slavotka they were back, back, but always to say to everybody ear, what's macht ear? You know, it's a it's a higher level. So that's like borrow to talk to everybody in third uh, person. 
And by the way, like uh, Steinberg, you know, Sal talked to all of us, told me to be a third person. Bakho <laughs> Delavar. So he's with a, yeah. And French and German at the same time. Also, yes. Yeah. Only English, there's no comment. French and plural. French and plural. Plural. Like the royal you. That's but right, but you still, if you don't. There's a difference. You still, yeah. There's a difference. In English, there's no difference, I don't think. But you is you. Right. But I don't know, like when you talk to the President of the United States, do you say, what does the President hold, or do you say, what do you hold? Uh, I'm talking about this President. I'm just saying, the General. <laughs> the previous one? <laughs> no, because this one I'm going to look. Who are you talking about? Who <laughs> says, uh, you say your excellence? Your excellence. Who says, you say your honor? Your honor. Your honor. Yeah, okay. I'll call upon if you have here a machlekes between the kabbalah. They're just like you can have both kabbalahs at once. I find mm -hmm. so like like one kabbalah is you're working up, and another kabbalah is you're working down. So it's a bechina of ratzay b'shay, michnas b'shalom v'yatzay b'shalom. You're going up, you're going down. So, but the going up is the rashpas did. The rashpa was the uh, was the lab. The, the rashpas did is that I have this intimacy with Hakadosh Baruch Hu. But as he said, so now I'm going crazy. I have sitting right in front of me. As I said, I'll take it, I'll going up. Oh, but, uh, if you're le learning the worlds, it's kind of like going from down to up. If you're learning the worlds from, from coming up to down, so then you're, you're doing it differently and you're ending up with Hamoitzi Lachim in our arms, right? So they have a, they have a clear Machlaik, Satsilos, Bria, Yitzira, and Asiya. Aretz, Asher Kitshanu b'Mitzvaysa Vitzi Vanu. Drugs of Chayes in the Parish Filon. Aniach Tzfilon. The bits where you're bringing it down to. Okay, so um, so we go. Yeah, the brachas of Shimon Esrei. We don't. We just say brachas Hashem. Interesting, right? So we're right. So what? Why don't we go further down? So Kabbalistically, um, because uh, because Shimon Esrei is Atzilus. The whole. Yeah, like if you look at uh, one of these Kabbalah Sidur, so it says that the Psukit is Zimra is, is Brachas is Asiyah, Psukit Zimra is, is uh, Yitzira, and then Kriyashma is the world of Bria, um, and, and then, I'm sorry, Bria and then Yitzira, and then Shmanes, Bria, yeah, and then and Shmanesri is the world of Asiyah, so I made Lifnei Hashem. So I made Lifnei Hashem, so um, everything's Baruch HaTashem without Elekeinu Melachem. So Kabbalistically, it's always good say, why that is. According to the Rashba, you can say even more parts that, that, that it's all about, the Shmanesri is all about our intimacy, Rafa'enos, Achlanu, it's all about our intimacy with Akkadish Baruch. But I, I'm, just, I, I'm just bringing out to you a Yidi of Alma that it's a, it's a machlekes between the Kabbalah and the Rashba, I mean, Akatsa, Akatsa. But what's Negea to us, um, what he's saying here is that what, what, however you want to learn it, going this way or going that way, there's clearly two dinim. There's what we do get and what we don't get. That's for sure. The only child is which direction we're going in the bracha. But there's clearly two dinim, whether you learn it like the Rashi or the Mekubalan, and, and Rechaim Elijah is explaining that these are the two dinim that we're talking about. There's the Atzmusa Yisbarach, which we have nothing connection with and don't and that we don't have a Hasag in it, and it's not within us. And then there's what we can be Masig, which is what he's calling the Hishabras El Elamais. Means that a pistol just hit him. Eshkol, Ezori, Eshkol. So uh, everyone should have a little push line. Okay. Maybe? Yeah. But just to go back to the VCF, I want to make a comment. What do you want to do? I would suggest. <laughs> we'll go around the